Tonight, we're now learning what caused a massive explosion in a Phoenix neighborhood that destroyed a home and damaged several others. Fire investigators are blaming a leak in the propane line for that blast. Their findings come a year and a half after the explosion near 36th Street and Lincoln. ABC 15's Ashley Holden is also covering this story for us tonight. The force of the explosion was astonishing. That explosion, February 5th, 2022, caught on camera in just seconds. A home in the Phoenix Mountains Preserve leveled. I was sitting in the bedroom on a recliner. I was physically lifted off the rec recliner uh, about two inches. Several neighboring homes like Barry Hendricks were damaged from the blast. Those living nearby telling us debris went flying. It's been about a year and a half, but neighbors tell us that they still remember that day well. And this is the property where that explosion happened. You can see pretty much nothing remains from the home. Every day of my life. That's how often Barry thinks about that Saturday afternoon. 18 months later, the mystery of why that explosion happened finally answered. The Phoenix Fire Department telling ABC 15 the home had a large exterior propane tank, which fed the home underground. We're told the line slowly degraded from oxidation, causing the line to leak propane gas into the home, finding an ignition source and causing the blast. Our front door from the shock waves came off the frame. We couldn't get out of the house. The window blew in. Barry says his wife was sitting in their living room by that window. She was lucky the blinds were down. She'd have been riddled with shards of glass. First responders told ABC 15 no one was hurt, but Barry says his wife ended up with a concussion. We had everything repaired. Uh, we've been taken care of by our insurance company. We've reviewed our own insurance coverage. Now he says life goes on. He just feels lucky to be alive. This is our place in the sun and it continues to be. Phoenix Fire told us their department isn't citing the homeowner and it's believed this was accidental. I was able to speak to one local propane company who says propane tanks are typically serviced and technicians can perform leak tests to try and avoid something like this from happening. An architect confirmed Wednesday another home is planned to be built at the property. In Phoenix, Ashley Holden, ABC 15, Arizona. Ashley, thank you. So